Well, the State High School softball tournament doesn't mess around. It started Monday, and today several quarterfinals were played. Among the games on the docket, a Class M softball game between 18th seeded Granby, which got to the semifinals last year, and 10th seeded Laurelton Hall. This was a pitching duel early for both teams. Laurelton's Lauren Kazakowski with a couple of strikeouts. Then Granby's Anna Maria Koskaritz with the strikeout. Both pitchers in the zone. In the fourth, Laurelton's Melody Allen hits the ground at a short. The throw gets away, and the first run of the game is scored. Laurelton all on top, 1-0. A little later on, Granby's Abigail Kidd puts down a nice bunt. A run comes across, and they are going to extra innings. But in the end, it would be Granby, who scored four in the eighth. They go on to win by a final of 5-1. The Bears advance to the semis, where they'll play third-ranked Waterford. The Lancers defeated Wolcott today, 11-0. Bad weather postponed this second round matchup from yesterday today. The Avon Falcons, the Brookfield Bobcats. Early morning, both teams' offenses were cold, but for the pitchers, it was a different story. Avon's Jacqueline Pengel and Brookfield's Julia Mitchell, a couple of strikeouts apiece. It was a defensive game till Captain Emily Parchinski came through in the clutch for Brookfield. She hits an inside the park homer and scores the first run of the game. Parchinski not done. How about this? She hits another inside the park homer to make it 4 0. The Bobcats win 7 0. They'll face Windsor on Sunday. Class S quarters, 5th ranked Wilmoga hosts 13th ranked Stafford. The defending champion Bulldogs start hitting early. Casey Mills with an RBI hit to center. One run would score. Wilmoga would then answer with some offense of its own. Cecilia Zamitis with the RBI single to right. Back and forth we would go in this one. Stafford's Sam King with a single right through the defender's leg. A run scores. King pretty fired up on first base. But it would be Wamoga who would have the last laugh. Two on base for the Warriors. Paige Mitchell single. They both come home. Wamogo survives and advances to the Class S semis for the third straight year. They'll play ninth seeded Summers next. Fox 61 and the Connecticut Interscholastic Athletic Conference are teaming up to spotlight Class Act schools. Meet one of the student athletes who promotes and encourages positive sportsmanship. Being a Class Act athlete, um, it, it takes respect for other athletes on the field and from different schools and to appreciate the sport that you're playing. I'm proud to be a Class Act student. It's a great thing. To, I appreciate like all the things we've done and it's been an awesome opportunity. For more info, go to fox61.com sports and click on the CIAC tab. That does it for tonight. For producer Bobby Martinez and the rest of the crew, thanks for watching, everybody, and have a